Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and today I'm going to do a quick fire question and answer. So I was looking back through my channel and I was like, what video should I film next? And I noticed that some of you guys might not really know me or know a lot about me. Um, I do a lot of vlogs and I do have several videos on my channel, but I feel like if you don't know me in real life and you just watch my YouTube channel, you might not know a lot about me. So I pulled questions from the Vogue 73 questions they do with celebrities. So I did my research um, last night to prepare for this video today. Um, and so I said, hey, let me just film a video, a quick fire video, just a few questions, some fun ones. Um, this is not serious at all. So I'm not going to get too deep. Blah. We might actually have some stuff in common or you might um, find out some new things about me. So grab your glass of wine. I've got mine and let's get started. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, probably on YouTube too, I absolutely love coffee and I love Starbucks coffee. Right now it would be a vanilla latte with only two pumps of vanilla and soy milk. I'm working from home right now, so it looks kind of crazy. It probably, if I was at a desk in my actual office, it would look way better. But, um, so I have a laptop with a massive monitor. So I split the screens and on one screen I'll have something going and the other screen I'll be working. It's um, really efficient and I really like it. So um, I also have a really big candle uh, that I light. It smells really good, it's just a light floral scent. Um, my glasses, um, it's right in front of the window, so I get some natural light that comes in during the day, um, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, it's pretty messy as of right now, but if I was in the office, it would look way better. <laughs> Hands down, without a doubt, could eat it for every single meal would be sushi. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't watch a lot of TV or movies, like at all, like, a lot of the classics I've never seen, um, it's just really bad. But something I love, which is so basic, and you're going to roll your eyes at me, but I never, ever, ever get tired of Mean Girls. The first one. The second one was terrible, but the first one was iconic. Instagram, fun fact, I actually deleted my Twitter several years ago. I mean, I guess it might be floating out there somewhere, but... I think Twitter became a place where everybody was putting their opinion out there and if others didn't agree with it, they just like attacked each other. I don't know, it just, I feel like for me, I thought it became a negative space, like everyone's opinions and everyone just arguing over like stuff that probably didn't even matter. Um, and it just became a thing where I thought people would just want to become viral, so they were saying whatever to get the most retweets or likes. Um, I think it's a great platform, but I just didn't think it was for me. I'm really extra, and I can really show my extraness on Instagram. So you'll find me on Instagram before you will Twitter. This is kind of strange, but I actually love to collect coffee mugs. So whenever I travel to new places, or even if I'm in like a knickknack store, I love to see if they have coffee cups um, with my initials on them, or cute quotes, or just really different. Um, I have a lot of coffee cups, like when I went to New York last December, there's a vlog up with that if you missed it. Um, I got a gold coffee cup from Starbucks, and I have way too many of them. You can only drink out of one at a time, and I know that, but I love to collect coffee cups. Oh, I don't like to talk about myself, like, at all. Um, I would say loyal, funny, and hard-headed. A little bit. Yeah. Mmm, I don't really know. Let me look. Um, I'd have to go to Instagram because I don't really use Twitter, like I said. Um, my last DM was from Jenny and she commented on, she DM'd me and I DM'd her back. She swiped up on my story and said, also oh, sweet. And I said, it was a nice little surprise. Me and Gibson went on a date night last night, so. Jennifer, that's who I DM'd last. And this might be really broad and basic, but I think traveling is the best thing ever because you get to see the world, you get to potentially see something you haven't done before, um, you get to see God's creation. His hand is in everything. And I think too, when you travel with people, you connect on a totally different level and you have like 
even more fun than you would if you were doing your normal day-to-day -day things or going to the bars you always go to or the restaurants you always go to. I think traveling, everyone's just having the best time. Like I say, I said this so many times on my YouTube channel, but um, like the New York trip I just had, not just had, it was almost a year ago, but in December that I had with uh, some of my girlfriends was the best trip I've ever had. So traveling is the best thing ever. I highly recommend it. Favorite seasons definitely fall. Not because of pumpkin spice. That's a very big contender, but I love wearing fall clothes. I don't want to bundle up, but a few layers is cute. Knee high boots, cute. Pumpkin patch, even better football season yes and you're just like closer to Christmas in the fall you know so fall <laughs> I like to plan surprises more than I like surprises so I am a big planner I don't know if I've talked about that at all but I'm a huge planner like I like to plan things that I have absolutely no control over like no control over so um, I don't mind surprises. I get very bashful and I like don't know how to react sometimes. I'm like, wait, what's going on? But I do love to surprise other people. Like whether it's something teeny tiny or really big, love to surprise other people. Um, I don't mind surprises myself, but I'm the one I feel like I have, not have to know everything, but if I feel like I'm about to get surprised, I'll like kind of freak out. Hold on. I like will freak out or if people around me are starting to act weird. I'm like, okay, something's about to go on. I need to figure out what's going on. So I don't think I answered the question, but do I mind surprises? No, I don't mind them, but I'd rather surprise someone else than someone surprise me. If that makes sense. Uh, no, not really. I think the only thing I could say is anything with peanut butter in it because I'm highly allergic to peanuts. So no Reese, no Butterfinger. No peanut brittle, nothing with peanuts in it. Peanuts or peanut butter. Now I can eat almond, a pistachio, anything else, but if it has a peanut or peanut butter in it, I can't eat it. So, more for y'all, less for me. <laughs> Either a really big, fresh cooked pizza or a corn dog. Actually, I have heard this one where the guy was like, feel my t-shirt. I mean, it didn't happen to me, but he was like, feel my t-shirt and he felt it and he's like, that's boyfriend material. Yeah. Uh, as of right now, lipstick, lip liner, and hand sanitizer. I'm actually gonna film an entire video on that, on all of my favorites next, so be on the lookout for that. I have way too many favorites to list them out right now. So I'm gonna make an entire video of my lipstick favorites or just lip product favorites. I actually read a book one time and it gave a piece of advice and I was like, this is the best thing I've ever heard and I have carried it through um, throughout my life so far. So um, it basically was talking about how there's like highs and lows in life and you should appreciate the highs and then learn from the lows but the piece of advice was nothing lasts forever like that was the main title was nothing lasts forever and so you can think about that in the good times and the bad times so when something really good is going on you're say you're on vacation you're having like the time of your life like this doesn't last forever so make sure you like take it in like this is sad I'm not trying to get sad but like your family your friends like they're not gonna live forever so enjoy the time you have with them like don't let the little things get a hold of you you know like really take in all the fabulous moments because it's not gonna last forever and then on the flip side the lows when things don't go your way or like something really bad happens in your life like this is not gonna last forever so when like especially during college like when there was a class I didn't like or a professor I didn't like or um, maybe a classmate that I was having to work with that was just not a that was like a pain that I had to do a group project with um, I didn't let it affect me. I didn't let it affect my grade I just kept saying it's not gonna last forever or say like tomorrow I have like this massive presentation at my work, you know, and I'm so stressed about it or I'm freaking out Like oh my god, like you know, it's like I'm totally dreading it. Just think this time tomorrow that presentation will be over nothing lasts forever you know, just kind of be in that mindset of 
like kind of like this too shall pass. Think in your mind, nothing lasts forever. When really good things are going on or when really bad things are going on, because when the good happens, you want to soak it in. When the bad happens, it's going to go by and a good day will come, I promise. So I read that in a book and I was like, that's so true. That's so true. It can be used in any part of life. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. I love chit chatting. I've posted a lot of travel vlogs and days in my life just because it's been easier to film and edit and then post. Um, just because I've been moving around and doing a lot lately. But now that I'm working from home, um, outside or inside is kind of where I'm at at all times. So this was fun for me to film. I hope this was fun for you guys to watch. If it was, please give it a massive thumbs up. Let me know if you'd like more of these in the comments down below. I can always do more sit down videos and tell you guys about certain things in my life or maybe have different topics. We can do this, maybe do like a happy hour maybe a once a week happy hour or something I don't know just you know my thoughts my thoughts but as always thank you so much for watching if you are new here please hit that subscribe button down below I'd love for you to join me I will see you in my next video bye cheers